hey guys welcome back to my channel you know it's your girl Chevy J so I've been getting this I've been asked to do this from the other day to do a pregnancy journey video yes couple of persons have asked me to do it so today I decided to just do it for you guys so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so I was wondering where I'm going to start, but let me try and start from the top. So I was conceived in January, right? Um, you know, you do the do, and <laughs> like a week after, I start feeling lower abdomen cramps, right? I bear it out for the week because you know, maybe I was thinking that maybe menstruation time even though knowing me i have like unsteady menstrual thing going on for me right so i thought it was maybe menstruation coming back on right so one week passed i was in cramps the second week home it, the cramps start getting more excruciating so you know chevy work at a doctor's office so it was time for my yearly checkup so we, I just said to my boss, she's a doctor, Doc, I need a checkup today, the day when I decided to do the check. So because the pain got so excruciating, I feel like I couldn't really bear it that much, I went and got my checkup. Ah, talking and talking, she sent me to do a pregnancy test. Bear in mind. I did my whole pregnancy test already before but I guess it was too early because I got negative in the first week when I started feeling the cramps I did a pregnancy test but I guess it was too early so they normally say for well, 16 days after conception you, you can know if you're pregnant yes so in the second week after feeling all that pain and I went to the doctor I did another pregnancy test it took so long the line took so long to come in my boss wanted to start treating me for PID that's pelvic inflammatory disease right but me I said to myself said no Chevy don't have that right and you know PID is so you, you can track that from your partner and all of them something but I was saying no because I've never had none of that before so anything anyway the line finally came up but because it took so long to come up she told me to do another one like two days after so two days after I did the another pregnancy test and as soon as I dropped the urine on the test the line both lines came up within no time so you know say so Chevy no say yes she's pregnant at that time anyway starting off after that I did a ultrasound because you know you have to do an ultrasound to find out where the baby is if it's in your uterus or if it's in, if it's in your fallopian tubes they want to know if the baby is in the right place so as I can see I found out very early that I was pregnant so so at that time you know your girl excited girl very excited you because know, it's her first child and you know girl I get up in an age and all of that and girl thinks that maybe there's no hope of getting a child but as you know 
God answers prayer when you see it's necessary. When he, well, not necessary. When you most need it. Right? God answers prayer. You pray, you pray, and you see your prayers not answering. Don't worry yourself. God going to answer your prayer. So, who the excited now, you know? Right? Anyway, in my first month, you can say it was smooth sailing for girl, you know, for Chevy. Smooth. Not saying that I was not nauseous. I was very nauseous. Yeah, for the first three months or two and a half months, very nauseous. Um, I was not throwing up as often. Only time mostly when I throw up is when I brush my teeth. Like, the baby never want me to brush my teeth. Like, she want me to have stinky mouth. <laughs> but, you know, you have to brush your teeth. And it's most time as I put the toothbrush on my the teeth right here, so like this, everything come up. I didn't have to brush, I'm trying to brush my tongue or anything. As I put the toothbrush in the mouth, it comes up. So that was one of my problems there when I was brushing my teeth. Um... I couldn't really, I didn't like egg at the time. The first three months, Chevy did not like egg. It gave me a bad feeling. And I couldn't eat green greens. Couldn't eat greens. Um, when I try to eat greens, it just come up. Or I start feeling full. I would be so hungry. And once it's greens, no color loo, pop chow. And who knows me? No, I love my color loo and my pop chow. Pop choy. Yes. No, I love my color loo and my pop choy. Right? First three months, it was not staying. It was staying, but Tommy just feel full. Right? Um, another thing. Yes, the egg thing. I did not want any eggs. I this means I feel for something and when I cook it I don't want it. Like one Sunday I decided I wanted to cook curry mutton. Cooking curry mutton all the while, cleaning it and seasoning it, it never had a ranking smell to it. And I cooked it the same way and boy I couldn't eat it because of the scent. Like my scent, the sense, the sensation of my scent, if I should say that, or my scent, the, the, the sense of smell was heightened at that time, and it's still heightened. But you know, I'm working it, with, working on it, you know, working with it more. But that time, I decided I wanted curry mutton, and I couldn't eat it because of the scent. But I don't know if I be, before. I mean, I really I smell it, but because of the pregnancy, everything me smell. Everything. Um, I start feeling bad when I smell certain food cooking. But good thing, you know, girl not throwing up, you know, that's the good thing. It's just the nausea. Right? Just the nausea. And girl ever tired. Girl always want to sleep in that first three months. Sleep would have killed me. I couldn't do anything and don't sleep. If I try to get up and do something when I'm home, it's not going to get done. Right? To be honest, you see, for that three months, that first three months, my bedroom didn't tidy. None at all. Because as I started, if I even start to sweep the room, it, it, my body just said, go rest. I just wanted rest all the time right wanted rest want to sleep even when I'm at work I'm falling asleep taking a little nap here and there sitting up I'm not a person to sit up and sleep and the way my, my, I just feel like I want rest I'm falling asleep sitting up right in that first three months 
Chevy ate a lot. It's like from the day of conception, I just started eating, 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 eating. And girl, in a put on no weight, you know. But just I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat. And one thing used to bother me, I used to watch um, this cable thing on the internet. Some American TV cable station, right? And if you ever watch one of those cable stations, you know most of the, the stations, when an advertisement is on, it's food. I could just eat. Just a while ago, eat and my belly feel full. And as Chevy starts seeing the food popping up on the TV, she starts getting hungry again. No, them something nice. Chevy not used to, Chevy eat enough, yes, but Chevy not used to eat right round the clock. Chevy just want to eat, 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 eat right round the clock. So for the first trimester, I thought I had, I thought I had it good. Cause you know some people have it worse than that. Some people are sick, some people in bed, all of that. Other than me sleeping and feeling tired all the time and you know. It was good for me going in the second trimester i mean the second trimester yes i'm 27 weeks that's about six months right that's really yeah, six months <laughs> yeah so entering into the second trimester chevy started i think it's wrong ligament pain they call it Chevy literally having pains in her hips and her thighs and her knees went down to her knees mostly in the right side come on man why nobody never tell me say when you reach certain part of the pregnancy you're going to feel that amount of pain you can't you, you feel like you can't walk <laughs> hey Chevy feel more time like she can't walk when she get up to stand she falling if she don't know where she had to drop right or if she don't know if you manage herself she fall down right um i started feeling lower abdomen abdomen pain as well um one of the times i went to the doctor the doctor you know was assessing me and assessed my stomach and he, he said to me that um you know the baby had turned to your pelvic already little Chevy look like she did ready to come because I feel some pain I don't know if that is called round ligament pain or what but that it was on and off like contractions yeah it was on and off like contractions i'm feeling it now but not as much as i was you know you know it come and goes even the the hip pain and the knee pain seems like it never stop completely it will come on now and then but you know say so yeah experience it come like never experience it straight through the pregnancy through the rest of the pregnancy this abdominal pain or the lower abdominal pain my god i thought it was contractions you know your first child i miss a google person <laughs> everything should be googles right so having that pain no one i went to doctor the doctor was like you need to do an ultrasound right and i said all right let me try, let me try and get it done because you know a girl first pregnancy if you follow this pregnancy it broke you if you follow these symptoms and the pains and all of them someday it broke you god knows. so i did the ultrasound everything come back all right but would you still have the pain which was very excruciating you know man it pain bad yes guys so the pain is not normal 
I don't know if the baby will prepare me if you live on pain, but the pain was excruciating. God knows that low abdomen pain. First, the baby is the head is down on my pelvic, and I have been the baby pressure in it. God, good thing burial come. That's the only good thing about burial. Like, I stayed home and I got some rest. It seems like I wanted some rest. I was going to. Maybe me not go too hard with work or whatever. But I needed some rest. And you know, I got Panadol to take. You know, Panadol they say is safe during pregnancy. Did the Panadol help? It don't help none at all. And they hear, I remember I was here one Sunday and the pain and licked me and licked me and licked me. And I called my boss and I said, Doc, what can I take? Because the Panadol not help. The Panadol didn't even ease the pain. Right? And then she said, Alright. It's not safe. But since you're having the pain, and guys, I have fibroids. That's one of the main reasons why I was having the pain. Other than the baby putting pressure on my pelvic area I have fibroids there's one above the baby she was saying maybe you know it's pressing down on the amniotic sac so the baby's you know pressing down on the the, the, the cervix ah, when I got the barrel gene when she called it the medication at the pharmacy and I went and collected it and I took it and I you know, I ate, I took it, and I went to bed. Couldn't do nothing that Sunday. When I get up back, I feel like a whole new person. No aches, no pain. So one day out of the pregnancy, she be just, well, half day, out of it, she be feel like, say, yeah, she wasn't really pregnant. But, you know, I got, I had that feeling when the second trimester came in because excuse me, excuse me um for the first three months you are feeling pregnant then when the second trimester started all of that nauseousness and that bad feeling they just disappeared yeah they just disappeared and the pain and then the pain starts <laughs> like you go to a stage of nauseousness and bad feelings and then and a stage of cramping till it become a stage of pain my god man but i wouldn't say it was as bad as some person's pregnancy because you know they're very sick and all like that um yeah, so right now, Chevy start back eating as I'm approaching the third trimester now. I am um, start eating a little bit more. Yeah, and you put on weight. <laughs> Chevy was like at 140 something. Even though persons might think that is not a lot of weight that I put on, I'm at 166 now. And, you know, I might put on, or I know I will put on some more weight throughout the pregnancy. But, yeah man, you put on weight. Sometimes I look for my knee cup, them, and I say, oh, my knee cup, them look so big and them never so big. <laughs> oh, God. But for the pregnancy, guys, I think I had a good good one. I think I'm having a good one. Not had because you know done yet. Right? And no other things might be planning to come because the first part it kinda smooth till I reach in the second trimester in not so smooth at all. It is not smooth. And anybody who tell us that them have a good pregnancy, it may not believe them. Well, some people have a good, 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 good pregnancy. But why? As you know, each pregnancy is different. 
but the pins I I am also anemic I was anemic before um, but you know I always try to take my iron and all like that so sometimes I might feel a little dizzy sometimes I will see, come like I see in stars yeah and you know what is a struggle to guys as the tummy get bigger <coughs> you keep your is fight you're fighting to get up off your bed and you fight for turn you don't sleep straight through the night you know right having this this belly in front of me i don't sleep straight through the night if i'm turning i have to wake up right and if I make a sudden turn, it's like I feel a sharp pain. Like, they must say I turn too hard. The other baby has squeeze up or something. <laughs> oh it is a struggle to turn when you're laying down. For me, nowadays, I can't lay on my back. Sometimes I can't even get comfortable laying on my side my sides and i'm only fall asleep on my left side um i see you starting to fall asleep on my right side now. but normally it's, it's the left side but either side no it's a struggle to fall asleep where's the baby kicking baby girl kicking in them baby girl active when we go to the doctor for checkup and the doctor assessing my tummy, baby girl all over the place. Even when I was doing my ultrasound, my anomaly ultrasound, the lady was having problems <laughs> because baby girl was all over the place, right? Even with this last ultrasound that I did when I was having that excruciating pain and thought it was contractions, the baby was just all over the place and she was kicking a lot. Yes, guys. So, the journey for some people is very hard, terrible. Some people say it's rough. It is rough. But not tell us I'm have it easy. Cause the when pain ready for licking you know, man, it licking you know. When uncomfortableness and fatigue ready, you know man. In that take pity pan you. Know. Right? I'm fatigued some nights. Mostly nights. Can't sleep. Twisting and turning. Light like I have still can't sleep. to do um my heart burns started in the second trimester I never did have it from before and god I know me for drink milk or she will drink a lot of milk from the second trimester start yes holy for milk for help with the burning stomach right the heartburn yeah man the heartburn not nice the pain not nice why the struggle is real <laughs> oh my God. I always hear persons say you know so pregnancy make me see and person say why well, you don't want to get pregnant at this time you know I always say I wanted one or two children and so God I give me God answer my prayer I never really saw me wanted to go, but I saw it happen. And I'm loving some part of the journey. When you feel your little one kicking, it's a great feeling. You know, so she's alive and healthy and all of that. Yeah. So I did a baby gender reveal at. 20, 21 weeks or 20 weeks there about after I did the anomaly the anatomy I said yes 
ultrasound where I found out the gender. I'm going to put a little clip in of the gender reveal. Um, I vid we, we got it videoed, but it was an online thing, but it's mute. It seems like the person who did it, they, their settings on their phone or their camera or their, or their computer, yeah, it was mute, so. But I'm going to show you a little clip in somewhere of the gender reveal. Yes. But it was a, it is a, it is a okay journey for me. Um, still have some more time to go. So I will see, you know, or I will learn some more as the time progresses. As the journey progresses then because right now she'll be good she'll be feeling nice right now and this is not an everyday feeling right not as sleepy I'm gonna start coming back yes as very often I will eat my breakfast now and then I'll go to work and I still have to get something before lunch time and then I still eat my lunch I will eat my lunch like all 11 12 o'clock and by 1 or 1 third there about she will want something else to eat again yes and I am very thirsty all the time I just want something to drink most of the time too I am very thirsty yes we need water and stuff yes yes you drink up you drink plenty of water at this time yeah always thirsty so guys I hope you enjoy this little video of mine please remember to give your video a thumbs up tell a friend to tell another friend to come over and check out Chevy J's lifestyle guys I feel like I want I don't know if you if you guys want a question and answer the pregnancy edition you guys can send me your questions um, I'm using Chevy J boutique on Instagram my main account I don't remember if I told you all but my main account the owner take it so I didn't create another one so you guys can send in your questions over there at Chevy J boutique on Instagram and I will definitely do a question and answer for you guys right remember now we you know go over Chevy J boutique send in your questions them so I can do the question and answer right yeah, so if anything I've missed out in this video and you want to find out then you can always send in your questions and I do a question and answer that Chevy J's boutique I'm going to put it down in the description yes guys you know that is my business page but since the original page got taken away I'm using that so you guys can send your messages to that um, yeah so I guess that's it for the video for tonight I hope you all enjoy it thank you for coming and enjoy the rest of your day evening night or afternoon thank you bye I decided to put the clip in at the end there's your girl looking beautiful and all the countdown to the gender reveal right as you can see it's a girl and Chevy got so emotional very very emotional Chevy got Chevy started crying and all these things so I had wanted to post it guys but because it was muted I didn't get a chance to. Thank you for watching.